So this amplifier will also have an voltage gain AVF equal to V naught by V S, and you know V naught is minus I C two into R C two by I V S equal to I S into R S, and I C two by I S is going to be A I F. So A I F into R C two by R S. And it is going to be R C two by beta into R S. You know the current gain is inverse proportional to beta, so R C two by beta into R S. These are all approximate things. Okay, so you can find voltage gain directly with feedback for this current shunt amplifier. Even though this parameter is not required, but still, since it is a common emitter amplifier in cascade, it is nothing wrong to find what is going to be the overall voltage gain with feedback. And now the input impedance. See the input side. You have uh, R S parallel to R dash plus R E parallel to H I E. H I E is available across the input of your transistor. And already this parallel combination is given by R. So I can write R I equal to R parallel to H I E. All the resistors are in parallel. So R I equal to R parallel to H I E. So you know for current shunt amplifier. The input uh, resistance will decrease because input side you have shunt. Whenever you have the term shunt, resistance connected in shunt will have lesser than the least value. So R I F equal to R I by D. So I cannot simplify further. So I'll reply. I'll just write the equation and say by substituting the value of R I in the equation, I can find out what is going to be R I F. Same way, output resistance without the load. So without the load, if you see, it is going to be you have just uh, current source. So you know the resistance of current source is infinity. So R not equal to infinity, and R not F is also going to be infinity. See, actually for this diagram, the H parameter equivalent is not available in the textbook. But I remember in the offline class we were uh, we uh, we have drawn the H parameter equivalent circuit extend extensively. It was a very big diagram which I was specifically saying this when I was taking that. This diagram is not available in the textbook. So you can refer your notes for the simplified H parameter diagram for current shunt feedback amplifiers. So if you see that diagram, then writing what is input impedance, what is output impedance. Should be very very easy for you. So uh, excluding the load, whatever impedance you find is going to be R naught, and from R naught you find R naught F. Same way, if you include the load resistance R C two, whatever you are going to find is going to be R naught dash, and uh, from that what you find is going to be R naught F dash. So R naught dash equal to R naught parallel to R C two. You know R naught is infinity. Anything parallel to infinity is that resistance. So R naught dash equal to R C two. So you can get the expression for R naught dash equal to R, and R naught F dash will be equal to the expression is there. You can simplify and get the answer for R naught F dash. So in current shunt amplifier, you have nothing to simplify because it's a cascaded stage of two common emitter amplifiers, and uh, you have a big expressions which will never get simplified. So you should clearly write. What is the expression? Same way what you see in current gain, right? So write the expression for current gain, and by uh, simplifying and substituting all the expression in the required equation, you will get the expression for AIF. Same way you can find AVF, RI. We don't we write the formula for RIF and stop because simplifying does not make any sense here. Same way R not R not F R not dash and R not F dash.